Hi Excellers, welcome to another how to excel at excel.com tutorial and today we're going to look at an advanced Excel formula and we're going to be looking at the county formula but we're actually going to be looking at multiple criteria with it. So let's get started. Hi Excellers, today we're looking at the countifs formula and we're going to be looking at multiple criteria with this formula. This was actually sent in by Lane. Uh, to my email box earlier last week. Uh, she wanted to know how to count the number of items in a list that met more than one criteria. So this is the way to do it. So let's start off with some sample data. I've got some orders, some product reps, size and the quantity that were ordered. So the question we're going to look at today is how many orders of Beanie H hats in size large were placed in the above list of orders? Let's choose the cell where we're going to put our formula. Hit equal. Because it's the start of a formula. And start typing. And as usual, Excel will bring up um, a range of for, uh, a list of formulas that starts with count. We want the count ifs. So what we first do is put in our criteria range 1. So we want to look at this range. And let's make that absolute. And we want to let it comma. And what is the criteria? Well, we want to look at beanie h. That's our first criteria. Second criteria range will be this just makes that absolute. Hit comma and we want the uh, and we want to look at large close parentheses. There we have an Excel returns that there were each product reps in the size large. So if we just take a look at uh, we click in the formula and take a look at the uh, syntax of the formula here. With the countifs function, you put in the criteria range and then your criteria. So where are you looking? What am I looking for? Where are you looking? What are you looking for? Okay. So that was using text in quotations because we were actually looking for beanie h and large. We can do the same thing by just using a cell reference. So let's just clear that and start it again with equals equals count ifs now the criteria range is the same we want to look for the same thing hit comma but the criteria i'm just going to click on the first one there and select b and e h let's make that absolute again criteria two is exactly the same range and let's look for large, close brackets. Still gives us five. So instead of try typing in the criteria uh, in quotations, because it was text, we've actually just pointed to a cell that contains the criteria. Now that doesn't necessarily need to be within your data table. It could be, it could be over here somewhere. It could be on another sheet. So that's how to use the count ifs when your criteria is in a cell reference. So let's take this a bit further. Let's say we want to look for Beanie H hats in a size large with a quantity over 50. So that so we'll add in another criteria for Excel, but we'll also use um, an operator criteria as well, which is greater than or equal to 50. So let's go ahead and build our formula. So criteria one is the beanie H. Let's use cell reference. Second criteria range is the size, large. And then just to add another criteria, let's take the quantity 
hit comma and at this point we want to say greater than or equal to 50. So if you're using operators in the county formula along with the text you would need to just put it in quotations so greater than or equal to 50 those quotations and let's just close off the formula there we go there's two so we have two two orders for beanie hats in size large greater than or equal to 50. we can see it's these two orders here so that's really easy when you've got a very small data set like we have here for an example but when a really big large in a really big data set you wouldn't have such visibility on it so that's it using multiple criteria with countifs if you're searching for text it has to be in quotations you can type in your criteria in your criteria they just have to be enclosed in quotes as well along with the text thanks for watching don't forget to click to subscribe thumbs up leave a comment and i'll see you next time for another excel tutorial Thank you.